Hello Grateful Spirits, welcome back to my channel. My name is Camille Elaine and welcome to the Grateful Spirit Faith. If you're new to this channel, welcome. On this channel we talk about God, we do women's devotionals, we talk about Jesus, we talk about anything encouraging and uplifting for your soul. So welcome to the channel and welcome to the Biblical Sisterhood. If you're new to this channel, welcome. We're super grateful to have you and if you are returning, thank you for being here. By today's title, you will see that we are talking about from broken to blessed and I think this is a really good thing to talk about and I feel like I say that about all videos I have prayed over this and God's placed it on my heart I really just wanted to connect with you all and talk about from broken to blessed okay from feeling broken from broken from life the things that we may tend to go through um, maybe broken in spirit from like failed relationships or failed marriages um, you know breakups and relationships crushed in the spirit right we do know that the Bible does talk about being crushed in spirit and how God is there for us to basically provide us strength in these times so have you ever felt broken in life maybe you are feeling broken I know for myself um, I've you know had failed relationships I've had um, a divorce um, before even and just even failures in life from making um, and failures in life and making bad decisions or making are basically just probably leaning on my own understanding so today I want to talk about all the beautiful ways that God can use our brokenness right the brokenness that you may be experiencing or maybe the brokenness in the past that maybe you just haven't let go of there are you know the brokenness that and the hurt and the pain and the things that we go through God uses those moments um, for his glory for our testament right for us to be able to lean more into him when we are going through these difficult moments in our lives or when we are feeling broken maybe from just like life generally um, everyday life can wear us down and we can have a lot of wear and tear on our spirit um, who we are as a person so really just understanding that you know it's it's okay to feel broken it's okay to feel this way but we want to surrender to God in these feelings so that he can then pour into us so grab your Bibles we are going to be talking about the story of Hannah which I'm sure you are so familiar with um, Hannah is a devoted mother and I have my Bible right here so go ahead and grab yours we are going to be reading Hannah um, verses 1 through nine today and I'm super excited just about her story um, I'm going to share a little bit of you guys what my Bible looks like here so for Hannah if you can see it kind of gives like a description of Hannah here so I'm going to go ahead and read what it says it says that Hannah is a devoted mother um, her background is she was an Israelite her name means grace which I think is so beautiful and her story she married Elkanah who truly loved her but had taken a second wife, Peninam. Um, Hannah was barren, which means, um, this may be a trigger warning, um, she suffered from infertility, which means she was unable to have children. In the Bible, it says that God closed her womb. But Penana, which is um, you know her husband's other wife, had produced children, okay? So she was unable to bear children. She asked God for a son and promised to devote the child to him. So she really devoted her prayer life to really seeking God, asking him for a son and really you know, giving a sacrifice to God to be able to conceive this child. She fulfilled her promise to God that she kept. Her son Samuel served the Lord and as one of Israelites' greatest prophets. Okay, so this is 1 Samuel 1 through 9 where we're going to go ahead and start reading about the story and how Hannah may have felt so broken in these times, right? You know, like again, trigger warning, just being, being barren, not be able to bear children. Just imagine how broken in spirit, how crushed in spirit she may have felt. She took her worries to God and we're going to read about it today so grab your bibles and let's start here it says on a one occasion hannah got up after they ate and drank at shiloh the priest eli was sitting on a chair by the doorpost of the lord's temple deeply hurt hannah prayed to the lord and wept with many tears making a vow she pleaded a lord of armies if you will take notice of your servant's affliction remember and not forget me and give your servant a son i will give him the lord all the days of his life and his hair will never be cut 
Okay, so as we end that there, um, she's basically praying to God, pouring out to him, asking for his son and, and saying like, I will give him to you. His hair will never be cut as a sacrifice. Like, please bless me with this son. And as we go into verse 12, it says, while she continued praying in the Lord's presence, Eli watched her mouth. Hannah was praying silently. And though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli thought she was drunk and said to her how long are you going to be drunk get rid of your wine and she says no my lord hannah replied i am a woman with a broken heart i haven't had any wine or beer i've been pouring out my heart before the lord don't think of me as a wicked woman i've been praying from the depth of my anguish and resentment verse 17 says eli responded Go in peace and may the God of Israel grant the request you've made to him. May your servant find favor with you, she replied. Then Hannah went on her way. She ate and no longer looked despondent, okay? So she is saying here like in verse um, 15, no, my Lord, Hannah replied, I am a woman with a broken heart. She had a broken heart from being barren, not being able to have children, not being able to you know, be a mother has really broken her in her spirit. And she was pouring out her heart to God. She was allowing God to, she was basically surrendering to God, you know, telling God exactly what it was that she was feeling, crying her heart out and really expressing how she felt. And, you know, and it says here after Eli responding, go in peace and may the, if the God of Israel grant your request that you've made of him. Uh, and she, after pouring her heart out and really surrendering to God in these moments of feeling broken, um, and she confirmed that she had a broken heart, like her heart was sincerely broken. And there's times when we can sincerely feel broken, we can feel crushed in spirit. And I'm sure Hannah felt so much of that. Um, after she poured herself out to the Lord, she was able to get up and she ate. Okay. So before she was really distressed, not eating, um, probably just really not, um, her best self because of the brokenness that she was experiencing in her heart and her spirit. And so after being able to, you know, pray to God from the depths of her anguish and resentment that she was feeling in her heart, she felt freed from that and she was able to go about her day. And as the story uh, continues into Hannah's obedience through the dedication of sacrificing, you know, telling God her promise of, you know, never cutting this boy's hair and really um, giving this boy to God, who her son is Samuel, who um, served the Lord as one of the greatest prophets ever. So um, Hannah was very special. She was definitely a devoted mother and she was uh, definitely suffering from broken spirit and you know sometimes in life we can suffer from a broken spirit from many many things from like breakups from failures from being hurt you know by people that we care about um, and these are times that we really need to pour out to God we really need to pour out to God past the anguish the resentment kind of like Hannah did and really allowing him to just pour into us because as the story goes on we know that God did grant Hannah um, her you know her her prayers were granted and she was able to um, have a child which was Samuel which is such a beautiful story because Samuel is an amazing story and it's just amazing to know that God can pour into us so much especially when we're feeling broken especially when we're feeling like we can't do it alone we can lean into God and he can pour into us and this is exactly what Hannah did and there's so many other stories throughout the Bible to have references into from broken to blessed okay you know even the story of Joseph how his brothers abused him sold him into slavery um, just imagine like having your family turn against you feeling broken from people really generally are supposed to love you and comfort you and care for you um, and you know from broken to blessed because God blessed um, Joseph even though he was put through these things just as he has blessed Hannah just as he is going to bless you and allow you to be have you know to have this relationship with him to allow you to overcome these feelings of feeling broken and so this is such a beautiful story and I am would encourage you to read this story it's so inspiring and I also since we have our Bibles open now I want you to take a look at 2 Corinthians 4 8 through 10 it says we are afflicted in every way but not crushed 
We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry the death of Jesus in our body so that the life of Jesus may also be displayed in our body. And this is a reminder that we are afflicted in every way, but we are not crushed, okay? We are perplexed, but we are not in despair, okay? We may feel broken, but we are not broken because we can find ultimate strength in God and Christ and his word and his power. And it's just, it's important to remind ourselves that God is here for us and in these broken times where he can use use our brokenness for his testimony for his glory like he can use our brokenness um, to provide beautiful peace to other people like maybe your brokenness and what you're going through is your testimony to inspire other people that may have been through the same things that you have been through so it's just you know from being broken to blessed like the beautiful broken pieces that we all tend to have are our beautiful pieces that make up our story um, so the moments that we're feeling broken the moments that we're not feeling like we have the most strength because of life and the circumstances that maybe we've been through um, you know a broken heart or failed relationships or things that we thought were supposed to work out for us But maybe unfortunately they took a different turn because maybe they're working out in God's will and this is just a reminder that we are going to be Perplexed, but we are not in despair. Okay, and this is scripture here that reminds us of these very things and it's encouraging to know that God has provided so much power for us in his word um, for these moments when we are feeling so broken and it's it's important to know that God never sees us um, Broken beyond repair like maybe you feel like you're so broken in your life that you can't be repaired God provides total restoration and renewal for us for our souls So anything it is that you're going through or you're feeling broken from or the burden from um, just remember that God is here for you and he provides shelter in these times and he doesn't want you to feel despair and these feelings of brokenness that you may be feeling. And I know sometimes it's easier said than done. Like I've been a person that's felt broken. I've had, you know, God, you know, come into my heart to help me get over these feelings of feeling brokenness from like past pain, from breakups, um, from things that typically you break our hearts, you know, um, things every day that break our hearts or things in the past that have broken our hearts and that have broken our spirits that we tend to maybe still carry. Um, and these are just moments and just more encouragement for us to just really allow God to be at the center of our hearts to really come into our hearts to heal this brokenness and to cry out to God as Hannah did and we all know Hannah's prayer is so powerful she has a beautiful prayer um, and really just listening to God, waiting on Him, and being still in His presence. I hope this video inspires you today. If you need a prayer request, the email is thegratefulspiritfaith at gmail.com. And don't forget to check us out on all social platforms at The Grateful Spirit Faith. And thank you so much. And also today we are doing a Patreon shout out. Okay, if you're so interested in receiving Bible study resources, Bible uh, printables, um, prayer, coffee, Zoom, Bible studies, um, all of these amazing things are over on Patreon and I'd be so excited and grateful to have you join us. Today's shout out for our Biblical Sisterhood over on Patreon is for Tawala Harris and I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'm so grateful to have you. Twala Harris, we love you so much. Thank you for being a part of the Biblical Sisterhood over on Patreon. We are, we just love you so much. Um, I love Twala so much. Um, she's always messaging me, asking for the Faith Kids, and that just inspires me to keep providing Faith Kids monthly for our Patreon Biblical Sisterhood. So if you haven't checked out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. I will go ahead and put a link so that you can take a look inside of the Biblical Sisterhood before even signing up for the membership. If you just want to take a look and see what's included, I will encourage you to do so. The link is down below. I love you all so much, and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye! Mwah.